to another cruising vlog. This is a first for us. We have always done Disney cruising, but we decided to expand out. And now, for the first time ever, we are on a Royal Caribbean cruise. In fact, you, should, you would know that if you saw our last disembarkation video on our Disney Fantasy Five Night Cruise. So, this is the first time we've ever been on this. We're sailing out of, actually, first time we're sailing out of this port. This is uh, Fort Everglades here in Fort Lauderdale. First time we've ever been Royal Caribbean. First time we've ever been on the Liberty of the Seas. So we're excited and we're going to take you along. I'm going to try to be fairly organized, but the excitement is going to overtake us. Got a lot of things planned, going to do some of the free things, going to do some of the paid things. So try to give a big mix of everything on this ship. So come along with us as we board and have fun on a three night sailing aboard the Liberty of the Seas. All right, so we're here. Let's go check in and get on the ship. So that was extremely, for the first time, a very smooth check-in. Um, liked it. It was very quick, very easy. I love the fact that everything's on the app. You don't have to have a printout paper like we've had with the Disney Cruises. That's nice. It was all right there, pulled up on the app and done. And it sounds like we're not doing a formal muster drill. They do an online little briefing of safety stuff, and then you just got to go check in at the place to do your, uh, or show them that you've done it, I guess. So. We're gonna head on the All ship. Right, so this is the first time we've ever been at the uh, Port Everglade uh, uh, terminal. There are pictures, just like with the uh, Disney Cruises too. There are pictures right over here that you can do on board. We're gonna do them. Yeah, all right, mama. This will be a picture photograph, a picture extravaganza here on the Liberty of the Seas. So we're gonna get in line and do them. So there's what it looks like, back of the ship. It says Liberty of the Seas on there too, so. All right, all done with uh, photos, and we're headed to the ship, Liberty of the Seas. All right, let's do it, up the escalators. All right, one thing I wanted to do before we got going, because I caught myself, we are not going to compare this to Disney. So if I slip up a little once in a while, sorry, we're gonna enjoy this cruise as a new cruise line, and so I'm not gonna try to compare it to pros or cons to Disney. We'll do that in a later video. So. Right now, let's get on the ship. All right, how excited are we? One to 10. 10. This is a 10. First time, well, we're winding around again here. All right. About 10 feet, officially. We are official Royal Caribbean Cruisers. A little view of the ship containers at Fort Lauderdale. Trying to get a good perspective here of everything. All right, we excited? Yeah. Official. All right, now we're on the inside. Not sure, well, I guess we're on deck four right off the bat here. How cool is that? Morning, morning. Welcome aboard. Welcome on board. Thank you. Pretty cool little view of the uh, ship here. Uh, deck four, Sabor. That's a uh, Mexican restaurant. I think we're going to eat there eventually. We're going to go through all that. Deck four off of a casino in the back. So we're gonna head up to the promenade. I think that's deck five. And well, we'll show you where we're at. This is our first cool impressions here. All right, so a little nice view here of the uh, Port Everglades, Port Everglades, uh, I'll get it out. Port Everglades here in Fort Lauderdale. For the airplane, that's how close you are. All right, never, never need to remember what day it is. Friday, don't know the date. All right, so this is our first look at the promenade. How cool. Now this place is free. This is the pizza place. And those are rooms up there that we actually are staying in. One of them somewhere. How cool. How cool is that? Thank you.
So I think sometimes they have entertainers up there, right? As our other. Ah, yes, this is the pub. Hoof and, hoof and claw. So we're gonna definitely gonna explore as we go through the cruise these shops, that's for sure. And not real sure significance of Morgan, but the little car, the car with the teddy bears on it. Pretty cool. Oh, it's Morgan, I like that. And here's Ben and Jerry's. This is not free. So there is ice cream on board that is free, but this is not. So we'll check this out at some point as well. Let's we'll see what kind of flavors they are. I don't know if you can see those flavors. I think we've done Ben and Jerry's maybe one time, I think. But. And right across from Ben and Jerry, Cafe Promenade. Now the sandwiches and plain coffee in there is free, but that's where also Starbucks is. Starbucks is, and that's not free. I think they also have some juices back there as well. So those are the beverages. Otherwise, you've got to buy individually or purchase a beverage package. So, and here's a picture of the new one coming out, the icon of the seas. And we're thinking we might be booking one of these little things in here. By the time we get off this cruise right here, this is like a city, a miniature city, icon city is what we're gonna call this. Up to 600 in savings. So we're gonna check it out. And looks like guest services all the way here. Now I'm not real sure at this point yet whether this is aft or front of the ship, but uh, we'll get that together. And there's where we came, Royal Promenade. So I guess we came in the back of it. There's the front, so how awesome. Getting ourselves acquainted with this pretty ship. Oh, look at the dog. What a doggy. Gorgeous here. Again, I, I think we are front of the ship. I think this is going front or midship or so. Because I think there's one of the mid dining rooms right So we'll correct that. Yes, this is going aft the ship. So. All right, so on Royal Caribbean, you can purchase, well, you can buy individually, I guess, but the sodas, and there's different grades of the packages, and alcohol, non-alcoholic com combos, with water, without water. So we just got the basic classic beverage uh, package. It's extra now, but these are the cups they give you. I got one too. My only difference for mine is I have the internet package with it. But you just go to whatever, any of the bars, basically, and any of the sodas, you can get refilled, I think, as many times. There's no limit to time, number, per hour, or whatever. So that's how it works here. Now, there are juices, and we'll show you some of that because we're kind of new to the game, too. Juices, and I think water that you can get at uh, some of your different free dinings. But if you want soda, boom, got to do the pack. So this is a nice uh, map here. I like on the floor, so as you where everything is. We're on deck five. All right, so for our first meal on board, Chops Grill. Now this is cost, so this is not a part of your cruise fare. And here's a little picture of what they have. And All right, I think I got it out there, but just in case, here's what we have to choose from. Chops Grill. All right, so I think Tim already mentioned that this dining experience is a separate charge. Um, for the, our family of four, Brielle is counted as a child. The um, meal is $90 and some change. Not sure if gratuity is in, included in that or not, um, but for the private kind of dining experience that we're having right now, so far, so good. All right, and so start off here with the uh, bread service. Not sure what all is in it, but it looks good. All right, so for an appetizer, both of my lovely, we got a web salad and it looks delicious. Give you a 360 there. All right, 
Uh, so let's take a look at what we've got. At, uh, everybody got, well, pretty much the same for me, XV, and, and Keys. So you got the uh, breezy. Mm -hmm. breezy. The steak salad. And you got sides of french fries. There's the salad. All right, now let's move over to Keys. Keys got the steak burger like me. I'll show a little bit better on my side. But looking good. Now, I'm Dearest, what did you get? I got an eight ounce filet mignon, and it looks amazing. All right, before I go to my meal, let me show you the sides that you also get. You get one side for the entree, and then I think they bring. She said as many sides as we want. Oh, as many sides as you want. Okay, so yeah. we got asparagus, mac and cheese, tater tots, and more french fries. And here's what this steak burger looks like. That looks scrumptious. And we're thinking this may be sweet potato fries, maybe actually, but we'll see. Like that steak, Mama. Steak is very, very delicious. She yeah. brought some um, peppercorn steak sauce, mm -hmm. and that's fantastic. You've had a couple of the sides too, good? Yeah. The um, tater tots, they have a little different taste to them. I think it's the Gruyere cheese. The macaroni and cheese is a little bit al dente, but it's still good. And of course, asparagus. You can't go wrong with this area. All right, and I'm liking my steak burger. You liking your steak burger? Or no, you didn't get the steak burger. Kings, you liking yours? Okay, I'll ask you. You got uh, steak. We got steak salad. Um, steak burger is really good. Fries. I haven't had a chance to have some of the mac and cheese though yet. So. He's got the key lime pie, so we'll have to see how that is. And Mom and Breezy got the same. Right. What did you two I get got, now? We, Brielle and I both got the red velvet. This looks amazing. Almost reminds me a little bit of Cheesecake Factory. I'm telling you, Cheesecake Factory may have run for their money there. Y'all have to have a little bite. And right. then ready, I got sir. the warm chocolate cake. Are you ready? Good? Yeah. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Action. Action. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I thought you were going to fly or something. <laughs> and I got the warm chocolate cake with a little ice cream. And I see a little topping stuff over here, too. So see how good that is. And there's some strawberry. Forgot that. Strawberry berries. Woo! Berries. So that disappeared pretty quickly. Good, good key lime. Mm -hmm. Gone. Red velvet. Gone. Still going. Still going. <laughs> this was awesome. Mm -hmm. I think I wish I could figure out how the combo of doing the chocolate with the ice cream all at once, but I don't think that would do it. But that was good stuff. How cool is that? A little bit of the ambiance here at Chops. Now, Wind Jammers was another option, so you don't have to pay to, to eat. But we didn't kind of want to deal with this whole stuff here, so. All right, so let me point a few features out here in our room. We just got back from eating a nice meal at Chops. Uh, they're the steakhouse, and uh, now we're back in our room. We're staying in a promenade room. Again, if you want to see this whole room in detail, uh, please uh, just hit the, I'll put the link up at the top. That's the first video we did on this series. So I'm just going to show a little highlights and just kind of comment on a few things that I see little, little, I guess, hints of what you probably will want to bring. We're at uh, 7597. Again, this is a promenade room. We actually have a connecting room. so. We got uh, two rooms uh, for the kids and for us. So that's an option, you can do connecting rooms. But uh, a few things let me point out here uh, in this room that you may wanna make sure you need or ask for. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice here, uh, besides the beds, no outlet. Now, if you're a CPAP user, then you're going to need to have to ask them actually for a special request. They will give you an extension cord because as I'm gonna show around here, the only, um, outlets here are the 120 volts here now they do have a uh, 230 or two uh, 230 volt right here but again you see no USB hubs so if you're a USB connector for your phone you're going to need to bring a USB hub with you to plug in to your 120 volt socket so that's one of the things that I, I think they've kind of redone that I guess when these uh, the uh, um, uh, freedom class has gone in for their, uh, I forget what their technical name is, dry docking, okay? They have a technical name for it, but just keep that Second in Second thing is a promenade room. Now, we saw this in a previous vlog, so we knew, we knew what we were getting. So you do have a sort of, I don't know what you call it, semi-privacy, you know, see-through um, 
keep the light out uh, curtain, or you can keep it open like that, but you do have the complete blackout uh, curtains as well. So that's important. So you're not completely have open, you know, open, no privacy here in one of these prominent rooms. And I will tell you right now, now there's not anything going on down in there. There's no parade or anything. I can't hear nothing. So I can hear zero. And that's the other thing that was stood out uh, pretty consistently in vlogs that which uh, the people booked a promenade room. So just take that for what it's worth. Again, we're, we have two adjoining. So we're not quite, I think Ben and Jerry's is right down. Yeah, Ben and Jerry's thing is back down there. Well, there, there, you see the cow right there. So that's and where we're at. They do have a refrigerator. So I just wanted to point that out as well. A ton of uh, space here, I think. Um, but not very depth uh, if your person needs to put in in uh, dresser drawers. However, let me show you lots that. of lots of space to put your clothes on. Fold your clothes up. I can't think right now. I'm so tired. Quick, fold your clothes up on the uh, racks here. So that's next thing you'll notice in this room, at least at this point in time, as of March the seventeenth, uh, you don't need a key to. Um, um, open up the lights. There's no key to open up the lights. So like in some of the other ships, the uh, Disney ships we've been on, first I want to mention Disney ship. Okay, not again. Uh, you know, you have to have the key to put in the slot to get the electric going in the room. You don't have that here. There's the thermostat and you just turn on the lights. So that might change, I guess, if they uh, refurb this, this ship. Cause this is, I think the last ship in this class that has not been dry docked or again, whatever they call it. Now let me show you the bathroom. Nice size bathroom. I mean, that's a pretty tall shower Again, no tub. But I don't know if there's other handicap rooms that basically have that. Um, but, you know, really tall, a lot of room. The other thing I is think. in here, there is no outlet. So some of the more sufficient, well, sorry, well, I just noticed, well, there we go. Bam. How do you like that? I just looked up and right there you go. Let me see if we can you see, see that, but right there for shavers. So if you have to uh, push your shaver, but now my cord isn't long enough. So I don't think I could actually um, uh, power it up that way but still it's there uh so there that's a positive so I, overall i think pretty pretty decent size um bathroom uh you know for for a ship for basically a non-suite i should say room all right so that will do the that will end the uh, short short brief room tour again if you want to see the extended version please click on the uh, link that was provided before uh this but uh, also want to so not that we haven't cruised before but you know Cruising rookie mistake, lock the keys in the door. So if that happens, or lock the keys in the room, if that happens, okay, I'm not gonna blame it on anybody, Keegan and Brielle. If that happens, okay, you just gotta go downstairs. They'll give you a new one and you're good to go. And actually Keegan found out that they both work anyway. So just FYI, if you do happen to lock your, or keep your, lock your keys in your stateroom, you can get a new one. No big deal. All right, we're sailing away on our first Royal Caribbean cruise. Get out there and do the line dancing, bud. No. All right, so sailaway party kind of wasn't our speed, so we came up to the front. This is the helipad here, uh, the evac uh, helipad. So we're going to watch us sail away from there. So enjoy. This is first for us. Well, I, I passed by the float. I thought I'd already done. Hold on. Everything is a first for us. That's true. That's, a for, <laughs> that's true. Standing right in this spot is a first for us. <laughs> yeah. So this is a parade. We don't really know what exactly it is. It's I'm just gonna get the a name parade. of the parade real quick. But uh, I thought it already happened. So I'm excited. We get to see a parade on a promenade on a boat, ship, a ship. Okay. The official name is Anchors, Anchors Away. Away. And there's right. signs all over, like, the promenade that 4 say 15, that. 4.15, I so. think, or 5, 5.15, I guess. Ladies, I'm oh, here we go. Ladies, I'm So 
this is the Rembrandt main dining. Okay, here's the main dining day one meal here. And I think all the dining rooms have the same meal. All right, and there's the bread. Not sure what kind it is, but looks good. All right, Mama, what did you get for a starter? All right, so I got spinach and artichoke dip. This looks really tasty. And I got the tomato soup. Looks good. All right, and I got the uh, tomato soup with croutons as well. All right, Bree, you didn't really want an appetizer, but our nice server brought you some fruit, and that looks good, a good fruit cocktail. All right, I'm really digging that tomato soup. That was very good. I love the little croutons in there. I like it. Good start here at Main Dining. So I gotta say, my spinach and artichoke dip was really good. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I would definitely order it again. I think it was just the right size, too, for being an appetizer. It wasn't over the top too much portion wise. All right, so all three of us got spaghetti, except for my, 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 my dearest daughter. She got fried chicken in it. It looks kind of good, kind of corn cob. What is that? Is that gravy? Oh, gravy. Oh, but I see mashed potatoes in there. Okay. All right, so all three of us, my wife and Keegs and me, got spaghetti. And it does look pretty good. So let's see how we think. We're gonna go see Welcome Aboard show, Rick Corso. See their Showtime Comedy Club, All-Star. And the Platinum Club. All right, that would be the Platinum Theater, not the club. What a good opportunity. I don't know if we can film anything in the show, assuming not. A little opportunity, the Platinum Theater. A little bit of the rink. Not sure that we can show the ice skating, but we'll let you know what we think. We can, we'll show you a little clips. All right, so let's recap our since I didn't get the audio to the desserts for our main. I know that was a hit. Right? Yeah. All right. So what did you get, Keeks? So that, that would have been my second key lime pie, and I actually like that, but not nearly as much as the one that we had for lunch. The cha at uh, Chaps, yeah. Chops. Chops, 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 chops. chops, chops. That but that was good. So you key limed out, okay? Um, and you got what? Is it cheesecake? The, the royal cheesecake. Was it good? It was really rich, um, so I didn't quite finish all of it. I ate... Almost all of it. Um, it's just, it was a lot of sugar. But you weren't, you sugar, weren't complaining. So, no. All right. So, all right. Let's talk uh, real, real briefly about the two shows we went to. Uh, one was the Welcome Aboard show. What do we think about that? Some of the stuff that that guy said was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. Some of it you didn't understand yeah. at all. Brielle, I think you were you. Some of the stuff you you were pretty funny. You you were laughing. I laughed twice, and I didn't even get the joke. So. No. <laughs> Gosh. All right. So what about the ice skating now? I liked it. Um, towards the end, this guy. He, I don't know. I just. It was pretty crazy. Was good. That was, was crazy. All yeah. right. Let's just get a re. Just a real quick. First day. Great. Royal Caribbean. First day was. Awesome. Awesome. Would you do it again? No. <laughs> All right. So let's recap our first ever. Our first meal first on board, meal. which was lunch at Chop's Grill. I thought it was delicious. Steak burger was very good. I think the sides were fantastic. Um, again, that's a that's a pay for meal. That's not included in your your fare. 
But we just thought, you know, it was a, a deal, right? It pre, was pretty pre reasonable price yeah. for four of us for all the things that we got. And I think, um, like, I had an eight ounce filet mignon. I couldn't finish. Yeah. It was way too large of a portion. Service was fantastic. I think the kids loved their desserts probably the most um, out of everything, but they also enjoyed the food. The chocolate dessert I got was unbelievable. That yeah, was that was very was very good. That was real good. So, so I think we would. I w we would definitely go yeah, again. Definitely. definitely. All right, so I got the video of the desserts with the audio going to uh, That's okay. I don't, we didn't so, say so, a whole anyway, lot. Yeah. We just kind of explained what we had. So uh, the kids told us what they had. I You had... Um, I had the Boston cream pie. Good. Which was really more of a cake. Um, wasn't really any pie to it. I don't know. But it was good. It wasn't the best dessert I've ever had, but it well, was good. And I'll say one thing we didn't mention. The service was, I was impressed. Oh, it definitely. Thoroughly impressed. I mean, boom. In, out, done. What can we get you? Let's do it right. There's only three night crews. Kept saying, hey, let's get, let's do this good. Yeah. So I wanted to try something new. So this was a caramel uh, peanut butter uh, plant-based bar. Um, really kind of tasted like Rice Krispie treats with peanut butter. It wasn't bad, though. It wasn't bad. It had a little... Uh, fruit, I think some strawberries or berries in it. Right. Uh, that was pretty good. So, and now the shows. All right, so we see, we did two shows tonight. Yeah. Um, I guess, would you call them warm ups to the comedian? Yeah, so that we did the like welcome aboard where we got to meet the cruise director, and there were a few featured acts. So the band was there, and then we saw an aerialist or a aerialists yeah. um, and some dancers. That was fantastic. Awesome. And fantastic. then the main act was the comedian and he followed them. Okay, the comedian. So I just want to say, like, I had done a little bit of reading ahead of time and as a parent, you're not supposed to bring your kids to the late show. So we went to the early show. I realized it was a comedian. There were some definitely, I would say, inappropriate things that were um, joked about. It definitely went over our kids' heads, thankfully. Um, we did see a family leave. So I would agree. Uh, the comedian, they were, he was funny, but uh, yeah, I mean, they were, you know, he had a, a, a late night show, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't so know we saw the early show. Before. I don't know about the later show. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I would just say to you, parents, be warned if uh, you think that's kind of some of the things are inappropriate. It was not the whole show, but some no. things are inappropriate. Now, the ice skating. Oh my gosh, that was unbelievable. That was incredible. Wow. I already knew, like, it would be amazing. I mean, you can't have an ice rink on a ship and not yeah. put out a fantastic show, but I think that exceeded my expectations. I felt like I was in a real ice capades. Yeah, I, I mean, they were it's great. Just, I mean, I don't know small. much about like yeah. ice rinks, but it seems like a small size for the show they were able to put on. It was fantastic. That yeah. was 10 out of 10, definitely. Loved it. And the ending was great. I felt kind of sneaky. Got a little bit of video, a little bit of video. So we'll sneak a little bit. We uh, uh, put a little bit of that in the vlog. But anyway, overall, wonderful first day. Can't wait for tomorrow. Exciting tomorrow. We'll let you in on a little bit of a, I guess, a glitch. But we'll tell you about we'll that. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Day two. So, thank you for joining us. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as it does help our channel. And now, with the first Royal Caribbean cruise or day one in the books, <laughs> thanks for watching. And what do we say? Onward to our next adventure. Bye. Bye.